Hello, everyone. Welcome to CIT 135. This is the uh, CC, I'm sorry, CCAC uh, online course on mobile development. In this uh, video, I'm going to go over the course syllabus and kind of go over the layout here in uh, Blackboard. It changes each semester, it seems like. As soon as I get it down, something new changes. So hopefully you had a chance to watch my video. Uh, so one thing is, uh, you'll notice I do a lot of videos and I think they are very helpful. So let me get started with this uh, semester. Uh, so this is kind of the layout. The only thing that we're actually going to access over here maybe be the syllabus. That's where I have the syllabus and I'll go through that in a moment. We have the course requirements. Um, I don't have any instruction information in there and I use each week you'll have a new module that'll appear here. So I don't lay all the modules out because I think it's important that you take each week um, as, and spend as much time as possible. Uh, so kind of getting started with the course module, once you click on the module for whatever week that is, and I apologize, my internet is really slow for some reason. Uh, hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, the, the objectives for week one. Uh, so all the objective information here, and that'll be in my lecture. Uh, you'll have learning activities, so whatever your week that you're learning something, they'll go in this discussion here. So if you click on learning activities, we'll talk about the first week. We'll talk about get. We'll talk about what that is in my lecture. So I would say look for these uh, this content, and that'll be in each week. Uh, there's a discussion question. This will actually disappear, and don't I'll have this disappear. You want to click on this discussion here. Uh, so if you go over to discussion, the first week. Uh, You'll have, a, you'll have to do an introduction video of yourself. Um, instead of uh, just typing something up, you'll have to actually do a video using either uh, an iPhone or whatever, using your mobile device, whether you have an iPhone, Android device, if you have a computer, a tablet, whatever the case is. I'm looking for these keywords. Who are you? Where are you from? What's your major? You're getting for a certificate, whatever the case is. Where are you seeking to get out of this course? And something about yourself. Unfortunately, the first one has to be a video. And this is a requirement that everyone completes this. So I've gone ahead already and do this, did this myself. So you have the opportunity to click on there, watch the video. You can export it if you want to make it a little bit larger. Hey guys, welcome and to CIT one. this is my video. So I want you guys to do the same thing. So you'll post your video the same way I did mine. You put a link in there and then someone can reply back. And that's how you'll get your points for a week. So this is going to be something different. You'll notice that my courses, I like to provide a lot of video content because I find it to be very important so that we are potentially as, you know, we can make this as realistic as possible. So I'll go back to course module one. For some reason, it, oh, it's in a different one there. All right, there we go. All right, so you got that. Learning tutorial videos. Um, this one talks about Git. If you go back. Uh, we'll have a module lecture in here, which I'm uh, this is going to be updated and, and purged because that one is about the lecture. So forget about that one. This one right here will get walked a little bit more detail, which is good. And then course module one, the assignment. Uh, this first week assignment is you'll you'll set up a GitLab, which there's a video and walks you through how to do that. Uh, you'll uh, make sure that I have access to your repository. Uh, you create a simple text file that says this works in your name. We're just not doing anything special this week. Uh, you'll check the source code in. Basically, this first week, we're going to learn about source code repository. What is Git? I'm going to walk you through in video presentation of how to set it up from beginning to end. And you're going to have fun doing that. And then as we start next week, when we start actually writing some code in Android, I think it's important that we learn how to do this aspect because this will be how you hand your hand hand your homework in. Not only will you go and click a, in the blackboard and say, I completed my homework, but you'll also state that, um, you'll also put in here that the link to your repository. Okay, so let's get and get started with the syllabus. So let me click on the syllabus. All right, perfect. Hopefully you can see this. Um, it has my information, spring semester. Uh, since I'm an adjunct, there's no office hours uh, because this is online. Um, but we could find out ways to be online through a device that I'll introduce here. Actually, let me go back real quick before we get into the syllabus. I forgot course requirements. Um, so you'll want to set up a GitLab, GitLab account. 
Um, and I, in my video, I'll take you out there, but just to give you an example, it's getlab.com. So this will be somewhere that you want to go out and set up your own account. Uh, register. Um, if, it doesn't matter what your email address is. It doesn't matter if you use your uh, email address. That's fine. I uh, download Git. So you'll go out to actual Git. So if you go to Google and type in Git, in a sense, you could just go to this website, Git.scm, and you'll download whether you have a Mac or a PC. So those are two requirements. Um, Android Studio. So you'll want to go out to Android Studio. I always say just, um, you know, Google it. Um, go here, developer.android. This is owned by Google. You will download Android Studio and walk through my video on that. Uh, let's see what else requirement. You'll need a screen video software development. Um, we could discuss a later time, so you'll need something. I'm using, as you see here, I'm using ScreenFlow because I have a Mac, but there are some free ones out there. You could use TechSmith. There's a ton of different ones, so check one out. Um, you'll want to use, I'll skip number five, I'll talk about that last. You want to use a git bash command. Uh, you'll get that when you download the git-sem.com. I'll walk you through how to use that. Lastly, you want to need a Slack account. So here's our address. You want to go to ccacsouth.slack.com. Once you sign up, I will go ahead and add you to the group, and you'll have access to Slack. Um, let's see if I can show you what it looks like. There it is. It is a way that we can communicate with, uh, no, not that one. Uh, I don't want to go Point Park, uh, sign into another workspace. And CCAC South. All right. Uh, there you go. Doesn't remember me. Because I got my password in wrong. Let's see if I... Alright, yeah, I definitely want to say that. Alright, so you, we have a, a, a thing over here that you'll be able to utilize. And once you, um, once you join, I'll be able to add you to that repository. And as you see here, you see these different groups. These are group names, and we'll talk about that. But this is a way that we could chat back and forth. Like, for example, if I went into, go back, if I went into general chat, as you see here, a lot of students reach out to me and this is a very good way to reach out to me directly i have this on my phone i can communicate with you at any time it's very helpful as you see when people are having problems they send me stuff and you know i help them out all right so that's how that works all right um that's pretty much the requirement so you want to go through all that in the videos and so forth so let's go back to here all right so here we are um I refrain to try not to call me or unless it's an emergency um, text me is fine but try to use slack that's more important um, you know what one other thing I can show you that can be helpful um, if you go out to this is my uh, website address at the college um, has my information down here if you click on these you could kind of go through here look at my resume it talks about some of the courses that I taught at the university um, gives you a little demo of myself to basically the stuff I told you already it just has a little picture of information and then down here has some links um, it has my slack account for point park um, but here's a, a list of my videos um, and so forth the videos is actually pretty I think very helpful because hello everyone as you see here if I go back yeah pause that. if you go to my playlist um, you'll see all the different things that I have. So if there's something else out there that interests you, you could go out here and look at it. All right, so I've been all over the place. Uh, let's go back here. All right, so uh, this course starts uh, January through May. Um, it's all online only. Uh, three credit course, CIT 135. Course description uh, provides the student with hands-on and skills necessary to develop applications for handheld mobile devices. Uh, we're using Android Studio. Um, we're using Java is our developing programming language we're not using kotlin uh kotlin's a newer one uh maybe we'll touch we'll talk about it a little bit but this course is designed to use java for now um the other thing is um you'll notice in the in the book there's a lot of really basic stuff and what i do is i take some of that out and give you more um realistic functionality so i focus on real things that i think is important so first week we're going to Talk about what Git is, Git Lab, 
Uh, second week, we're going to how to use Git functions, source code repositories, installation, etc. Week three, we're going to get our hands dirty and start talking about Android development and actually writing some apps. Uh, week four, we'll focus on apps, visuals, and views. That has more specific information what we're going to do, so we'll get a little bit um, deeper. Uh, week five, we'll talk about designing app visuals. Uh, then week six, we'll talk about debugging and activities. Then we'll get into introductions of lists, views, and layouts. As we move further on, we'll start talking about some media animations, how to anim animate through an Android studio. Uh, we'll get into uh, storage in Android. We'll start using something called SQLite database. So SQLite is a different way of talking about databases, not your conventional way. We'll get into another part of databases. We'll talk about Firebase cloud development in part one and part two. Uh, what this is, uh, Firebase is a, I don't know if I have Firebase up here or not. I might actually have it here, Firebase. I might be signed into it, I'm not sure. Um, let's see here. I'm signed in or not. I am signed in, but, oh, you know what? I think I have a separate account. I do have a different account for it. But anyways, we will talk about what Firebase is. It's a it's a cloud database environment. So there's multiple cloud databases. That's one that we'll be using. Uh, let's see here. So when a student completes a course, he or she, you have to basically understand how to develop an application uh, using Android Studio. Um, I think it's very important. Uh, you'll have a good understanding of it. Uh, course outcomes uh, possesses a fundamental knowledge of object oriented language, which also serves as well as advanced Java courses such as C, C, Sharp, Objective C, Swift, etc. Um, known books that you'll need, which you already know. Teaching method uh, in the classroom, which is we all f function as software engineers, but in this case, we're all online. Uh, we'll work individually and together toward uh, stronger software development, communication, project management, and other necessary skills is required. Uh, discussion questions will consist of your initial posts and two replies, minimum of 250 words. But in the first one, which is the introduction, you'll do a video introduction, and then your next two will be at least 250 words. If you have any questions, you let me know. Um, students should prepare before each class. I just basically read the chapter before each week. This is an online class, so you could do this at any time. There's no specific, but I will mention that each assignment has to be done, finished by 11:59 p.m. Sunday night. So, for example, next uh, this this is uh, Sunday right now, but tomorrow is the 28th, first day of class. You can work any time, but your assignment has to be handed in by the end of the day on Sunday. So you have a week to complete your assignment. Uh, there'll be 10 assignments, 100 points each. Um, i actually back up here a little bit. So you have seven, well, I seven, I lied, I guess it's 10. Hold me to it. Each student will be required to submit their assignment via Blackboard or via source code repository. It's gonna be both. If you say you only submit to Black, to um, uh, the Git uh, lab and not submit to the assignment, you'll lose points because I'm not notified that you did it. So you have to do it in Blackboard, it's very important. So you don't wanna lose points. Uh, of course, we'll have a midterm, a final, and um, and a final project. So the midterm, how I do my midterms is, I'll talk to week, a week or two before what the midterm is gonna be about. Uh, if there's questions, usually what I do is I split it up between questions, a bonus question, a bonus question will be have nothing to do with this class. It'll have something to do with Pittsburgh, so use your Pittsburgh knowledge. Uh, it'll be something silly, I promise. Um, and one of the things I left out about my introduction is I have been in three movies that were filmed in Pittsburgh. That might be a, a bonus question for you to figure out. Um, let's see here, what else? Uh, t -t 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 -t. All right, so... It'll be broken down, and then the second part might be right, right a little app, something pretty straightforward. Nothing, and it'll only be about what we've learned. Uh, final exam will only be about the second part of stuff that we learned, the second half of the course of the semester, and it will also be the same. It'll be a um, question base and then, then the actual code. Uh, and then the final project. Final project's going to be interesting. Uh, there will be a group project, and now you're asking yourself, how are we going to do a group project? If we are all online, that's challenging. Well, 
it is and i'll go back to slack and that's why slack played an important part like these guys with these different groups these are group names that you guys will come up with as well and everyone as you see here people communicate really well and i mean i was surprised this is like these groups did uh so well that they actually did better than some of my classes i teach in person and people see each other every day and what i'll do is when, when it comes to group project stuff i start talking about it, i'm actually going to go through and let you guys see some of the stuff that people did like uh these guys wrote a really cool app um they actually and this is be something that you'll develop they went through created this app and they wanted to learn something they start learning and they actually used me in the app so um, so it was pretty, pretty awesome. They did a phenomenal job. Um, let's see. We had uh, these, uh, that was these guys here. Then we had these guys right here. Um, so I'll let you guys go through and check all this stuff out. There's some really good information out there. Um, this guy walks through and talks about his presentation. So you guys will have to do a presentation. So he does some code. Um, human rot, uh, these guys do code. So they actually write it on a piece of paper or start talking about uh, these are guys are learning coding, so they actually used my uh, videos on preparation, which was pretty interesting, uh, nonetheless. Um, so you'll have that opportunity to uh, do the same thing as well. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, Iron Misery. So these guys did something focused on the university. So this guy right here took information on CCAC South and made a video out of it, or I mean an app out of it. So there's a tremendous amount of stuff out there. And you guys will all have access to that to your fingertips, which I find very important. And that'll be about your project. And we'll, we'll talk about that later, not this week. And this is just a structure to point system. Um, other po policies, try not to copy and, and still be other people's work. Um, I have up to 72 hours to get back to you. So if you send me an email or a Slack message, Slack me on Friday and I'll get back to you until Monday. Um, but I'm usually pretty good at getting back. Um, pretty promptly um attendance well here's the thing i don't know if you're attending online but the thing is i know that if you haven't been online and did assignment in several weeks that's how we check whether you've did any attendance um late assignments um try to have in by 11 59 um if, if you fail first day you'll lose 10 points 20 percent and then 30 percent um, I'm usually really laid back about this. I try not to utilize this. If you send me a message and say, hey, you know what? I'm having a problem. Um, can you have a few days? Fine. I'm, I'm pretty laid back about it. But just don't try to take advantage of the system, system and don't wait five or six weeks and finally do assignment. So you want to, you know, it, it happens. I know emergencies pop up. So let me know. And I'm, I'm really laid back about that. Makeup exams. Um, I like you to make up one exam. And how that works is let's say that you took the midterm and you did a bad job on it and you want to retake it and now i mentioned about quiz i have no quizzes i hate quizzes so i only have two exams i hate having the final midterm as well um, i like to include everything on a project but you know it is what it is um but let's say that you did bad on midterm and you want to retake it absolutely i give you the opportunity to retake it again um but if you retake it in the midterm and you do terrible in the final you can't take the refinal so you know make, make your uh choices make your choice wisely uh let's see what else do we have here we're almost done 18 minutes into the video all right assignments um i don't want to hear i did not know we had homework i wasn't taking this class serious but now i'm really wanting to learn this is week 15 i only have a week what can i do can you give me an incomplete i don't want to hear about that um i never accept an assignment in my email so please don't send me an email and say here's my homework i will not accept it i uh, when turning in your files dot java well, in this case, it doesn't matter because we're going to be using source code repository. So that goes out the window. You're going to submit your repository and what's in there is fine. And this is talking about you need to do both. Submit the Blackboard and post it. But I talk about it in my video. Uh, individual project. Um, take that out because it's going to be a group project. So week three or four, I'll do an introduction. Uh, miscellaneous. If you're caught sleeping in class, listen, I don't care if you're caught sleeping because this is an online class. So I apologize. I didn't take that out of the, out of here. Um, so you can sleep all you want. All right. <laughs> this right here talks about each week. It has the dates here because it goes down to where you have the spring break. But um, first week, learn about Git. Second week, we actually start using Git more. Uh, week three, we start writing some code. You start um, doing injury development. Um, week four, you're doing some app visual views, uh, design views. We start getting into debugging, 
um, and so forth. One second. Learn about introduction to list views, layouts, uh, Android media applications. Uh, we'll talk about SQLite a little bit more. We'll take a break. We'll get into Firebase, we'll review our final exam, and you'll have a final presentation. Now, final presentation, we'll talk about a later time. Uh, you'll see, like, here's an example of one of my videos. Uh, I'll turn the volume down because I don't want to hear me talk. But as you see here, I do a, a lecture and I talk about what we're doing. Um, and then I actually will walk through how to create the app. So I walk through, and I'm kind of going through it real quick. But I'll actually walk through and show you all sort of piece, pieces of, of the app. What you won't get from me is I won't say, here, here's an assignment, read the book, do it. I like to show you how to do it. I think uh, a lot of people learn better with video. Um, it shows you, uh, in, the, in, the, in, in fairness, the, uh, the book's a little outdated. So as you know, Android or other IDEs change a lot. So I walk through and show you how to create your first app. This is like usually, I think it's a week three. So as you see right here, we have an app going right away. Um, I will teach you how to link up your phone to your computer and how to put that test your app by putting it on your phone. If you have an Android device, uh, you could have a tablet, you could have uh, an actual, um, uh, we call it a um, phone, whatever the case is. I'll walk you through and show you how to do all that. I think it's very important um, to have that opportunity. So, I mean, I, I have tons of videos and that's kind of what I specialize in. And um, that's pretty much it. And that was pretty quick. I went through that, um, the syllabus, but if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Hopefully you get Slack as soon as possible because that's a really good way of reaching out to me um, pretty quick. Um, this is a good way to communicate. Uh, if you want to set up an appointment during that time, we could talk anytime pretty much. All right, well, thanks for watching and good luck in week one. I look to hear from everybody. I'm excited about watching everyone's video. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Have a good week. Bye.